guys! I'm here to give you the second instalment of my colouring in my sewing machine little thing that I did. <laughs> I got sent these pens for free by Uniball. This is not a paid or sponsored post. Basically they just sent them to me because they were like, we thought you might like to try them out and I did. I posted a review of this on my blog so if you'd like to read that it has sort of more in-depth pictures. I used it on paper as well and talked about using it on glass um, and fabric as well so you can go have a look at that if you want I'm not going to go over it again because I've already done it. Last week I showed you a video of me drawing all over my sewing machine and this week I'm going to show you me colouring that in and I'm just going to talk over it and just talk a bit about using these pens. Halfway through colouring in the top of my sewing machine the camera ran out of memory. I didn't manage to capture that part of it. I'm not thrilled with the top of it I think it looks a bit mm, a bit busy um I liked it before I coloured in gold and silver in the background, but hey, you live and learn, and I'd probably be able to take it off with either rubbing alcohol or nail polish remover, so I might do that in the future. So my thoughts on using these pens on plastic. Um, first of all, I really like them. They, like, the flow is quite good, but sometimes the flow is a little bit slow and you have to press down on the nib to make the paint flow through the pen again. Um, you're not supposed to actually do this, as far as I can tell. All the other people that I've watched using the pens have said that you don't do that after the first time and I found and if I didn't do that it didn't flow fast enough for me to actually draw on the plastic so that was I don't know I wasn't I wasn't really happy about that because I felt like I was going to ruin the nibs of the pen and I'm really precious about stuff like that. The other thing to bear in mind is that it takes a really long time to dry so there were quite a few times where I smudged it really badly and then I had to wipe it off with rubbing alcohol and then um, draw over those bits again and it, it made the whole thing a little bit slow and irritating although it does give a really good finish at the end so you know I guess there's a bit of give and take like it takes so long because it's such a thick layer of paint but then once it dries it is amazing it looks really really good so you know that was that was kind of bad but it, it I, I understand the reason and I like the effect these pens come in lots of different colours, but I found that um, the eight that I was sent, I had seen a thing on YouTube where you could use, I don't know, you could use like colour theory to blend the colours and make like an orange or a, or a different green or whatever. I didn't enjoy doing that. When you colour over a different colour, it absorbs the other colour into the nib and then you're left with sort of a residue so when you go to use that one later you might come out with something that's slightly different to what you're expecting. So I didn't really enjoy the colour um, mixing but if I had bought more colours it wouldn't have been a problem. The metallics are amazing, it's just really nice to find sort of a permanent marker type thing that has great metallics. I am a bit of a sucker for gold and silver. I don't think these are permanent, um, or you know, they're not like advertised as permanent markers, but they, they do last pretty well. I've got them on some glass jars in the kitchen and they have been there for about a month and a half and there's one small little kind of scratch in it, but I think that's probably more down to me and John being quite clumsy rather than the, um, the marker not having that much longevity. I think it's, you know, I think it's done quite well <laughs> considering. I'm really pleased with how the sewing machine came out. I really like the woodland bit. Um, I think that's really, I don't know, I like the style and I like the way that I coloured it. So I will definitely be doing something like that again using the pens probably. The top I'm not that keen on. I decided to outline it with gold and silver to underline it, background it. I decided to make the background gold and silver and I probably should have done that before I then went and drew all over it. But I did it all at the same time which is down to my poor artistic talent rather than anything to do with the pens. I didn't like how they got everywhere so because they take so long to dry I got them all over my hands, they're all over my desk, my desk is now permanently stained which is um, my fault, should have protected it but not, not that great about it. So the drying time is the thing I like the least about these pens. The nibs of these pens are quite thick, they're the medium pens, I think you can get fine ones and you can also get much broader ones. It's quite good for a fairly large coverage area um, but not good for fine work. Don't try to do fine work with these pens. You'd have to get the fine ones if you actually wanted to do like really detailed stuff. Overall, I really enjoyed using them. Um, I will be using them for other stuff in the future. I don't have to send them back to Uniball now that I've used them, <laughs> luckily, because the nibs are probably a bit dis discoloured and disfigured. I don't know. 
but I did, I really enjoyed it and I really like having them to just label stuff, like I've been labelling seed pots and things in the kitchen and um, just adding a bit of colour to stuff which I really, really like. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you soon with something else crafty. Bye! So I didn't manage to catch, but capture her. <laughs>